Hello people, welcome to another exciting episode of Tech Point with Clear Around the World brings it to you the news and everything that went down during the week. My name is Grace Akinoshi and I am your host. This week on Engine Rock, we met with the Director of Sales of General Electric Sub-Saharan Africa, Uluwatoi Abegude, and she made a lot of sense. One of which particularly struck me was when she said, in the first eight years of your career, you are in the building and molding stage. So you do not expect to be fantastic. She made all those solid points when it comes to career and you can catch them up on Tech Still in this week, we hosted the founders of Metro Africa Express, Adetayo and Shinedu on our AME section, because that's Ask Me Anything, Tech Point Ask Me Anything. And during the section, they talk about the unique selling points of a particular product they just launched, and that's Max Max School. In case you were not there when the live stream was up, you can catch it up on our Facebook page, Tech Points Facebook page, and I'm sure you will learn a lot from that. You will definitely learn a lot. If you remember two weeks ago, there was a partial internet outage that affected several West African countries. But the good news is it's been finally resolved. The resolution was announced on the World website that it was completed on Sunday, that's last week's Sunday. So congratulations West Africa, Internet is back. Studio, an online startup that retells African stories with comics, just raised $10,000 from a local investor. I mean, it's a big deal because raising money isn't such an easily achievable feat, especially not in Nigeria. So I believe with this, they're definitely up to something in the African market. If you want to know more about the story, you should check it out on our So website. Peter Studio just raised funding, and who says you can too? There is a lot of funding opportunities this week, and some of them are closing soon. And for the record, one of them is GSMA. Not what it is. The last batch they did, prep class, a Nigerian startup raised about $322,000. I mean, that's a big deal, and that's a lot of money. You should also take advantage of it. Do not hesitate. Funding is a very critical challenge that so many Nigerian startups face. So why should you even want to hesitate to take up the opportunity in the first place? What have got been thinking? So many Nigerian founders are afraid to fail, and that's why I appreciate Sherry Shitu. He had a startup showroom, and after two years, the startup sort of failed, and instead of being to just chicken in or coward out, he simply learned from it and rebuilt another one, switch. So it is really, really okay for Nigerian founders to fail. But why is it okay? Why it is okay to fail? There's an article on that. Check it out on our website for further energy. You will learn. So we don't have so many failures if we begin to consider research both in the academic sector and the technology sector. This week we explored how so many commercially viable research projects are being done in Nigeria University. And there's a little or nothing to even tell about research when it comes to the technology sector. I think it's high time it's to dawn on us that without research, well, we are not even close to getting where we want to buy Yaba for Tech, where some tech enthusiasts in Lagos have come up to form a community, Yaba for Tech, where they intend to discuss and see how it can help to revamp or bring alive a strong tech cluster in Nigeria. As well. Finally, this week on Tech Point NG, we had some job opportunities and Tech Point is hiring. Yes, we need a developer, an in house developer, and if you think you're up for it, you can just check our website and see the prerequisites and now you can apply it. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. You can follow our social media and use techpoint.ng on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. If you have any suggestions or any correspondence, you can hit me up at ms underscore greatkings on Twitter and Grace Akinshu of course on Facebook. The links to each of these headlines are found in the description if you are watching from YouTube or Facebook. And I remain Grace Akinshu. See you same time next week.